So I know I heard, and, and the final product is seven hours and 23 minutes. Mm. How long would you say it took you? Were there any where you would voice things and be like, I just really just butchered that. I need to redo this whole chapter. Like, how, how long did it take you time-wise? I mean, like I said, the product is seven, seven, minute, seven hours and 23 minutes. Would you say it took you seven hours and 24 minutes or? I would um, not like to know that number. I don't, I don't keep track of those things. One, because um, the contract, as far as the rate, is for the per finished hour rate. So that final length of the book, that's how the rate is calculated, not how much time okay. I spent recording. So, uh, okay. you know, knowing how long that takes is really, I guess, just a personal thing for my own, like being efficient. You know, how fast did I do this book? Um, but I think I would just be upset with myself for like how long it took to get it all done. I mean, there's always mistakes. Even the best narrators are going to flub things here and there. There are consonant clusters and things that just don't really sound natural in our mouths, even though, you know, it might have sounded natural writing it and it sounded great in your head. When it comes into comes to the point of speaking it, things can end up sounding kind of weird. So you once you once you reach that in recording, it's like, oh, okay, let me do this a second. Oh, look. Do it, and once you get it in your mouth and get it in your head, maybe that third or fourth time it lands finally. But yeah, there's a lot of that of just going back and doing a sentence over and over. Or those problems. Yeah, what was um? Things. You had posted something on Instagram, I think, and it actually spurned us, spurned a conversation between us about things like um the words like turnt. I think. Um, oh gosh! It was something that that oh, really I might have shared a, a reel from some uh, from someone else about. That's what it was. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was it was a voice actor kind of meme, and it was these words that like like shant and turnt. I think like proper words that nobody says that some writer's going to slip in there, but it does not. It really hurts the flow of the narrative. Yeah, it's and I was like, I hope my book doesn't have any of those. And you're like, I just finished, <laughs> and I don't think you did. Nothing, nothing that I had any inkling to post about. Um, well, that's good to know. I yeah, no, nothing that like it was like, oh my god, why did he write this? <laughs> I think there's just there's just things that when put together in speech become like it it twists your tongue in a way that's like oh my god why is this so hard to say so uh like kt into another t or oh gosh yeah i'd, I'd have to i'd have to go through the book and find like an example but yeah there there are times when it's like making sure the word is understood that like that goal ends up getting in the way of maybe like just speaking naturally. So if I if I was just talking, there might be listeners who are like, wait, what did he say? So I have to make an effort to really make it understood and pronouncing the ends of the words, which can conflict with like the next word and it, right. it can sound unnatural, but every, you need to be understood. So there's a lot of things at play there that can that can mess with it. And, and I know the thing about modern spoken english is a lot of the words kind of blend together right and especially when you're dealing with southern characters where speech is a little bit more flows in together and you know when you're dealing with different accents i guess any accent's going to have that issue yeah and so that's a kind of a collaborative thing between the author and the narrator now is like you know on your end how much do you want to write the accent versus, you know, how much am I performing the accent? Like, am I now changing some of what you wrote to fit an accent or are you writing so much of the accent that it's now hard to read? There's a lot of push and pull there with the, with the right. performance of it and the characters. I think, I think that's really interesting um, when it comes to the writing versus the, the speaking of it. And that's 100% why I added you on social media, because I was like, if he has any questions, Let's just, you know, not to be, you know, not to cut out the middleman in a bad way, yeah. but then he can just go straight to me. You know, hey, you got a, you got a character on page 200. 
I'm not sure how I want to approach this. What, it, what, what were you thinking when you wrote it? And that's why I connected with you on social media, like right away. And if, yeah. if you have any questions, you know, let me know. And you just ran with it. But 